at the end of the day, I really don't care about the ex org Whalen debate. Some people can get pretty feisty when it comes to that. Up until recently, my experience has been a lot better with like ex org or X11, you know, systems or window managers than it has been on Whalen with something like Sway or Hyperlin. And at this point, I've said it multiple times, but I've used Qtile for a while now. It's been my go to uh, for, you know, year and a half, two years. Sure, I've jumped around with other desktop environments, but Qtile is usually where I always come back to. It's just familiar and comfortable. But I, while I, would, I don't care about the whole like debate that people can have over XOR or X11, we'll just say X and Waylon, um, I, I, ha I do think that Waylon, or Waylon is a little bit more secure, right? I'm not going to dive deep into why or anything. There's many videos out there comparing X and Waylon, uh, but I'm not going to do that here. From what I've read, like it's not unsafe to use X, X org systems or anything like that. I don't think it's unsafe. Um, I think that people are going to be using X, X org for quite a while or X11. They're going to, it's not going to just die like that, right? But I've been wanting to migrate over to Waylon, you know, for a little bit now. I've just been dragging my feet because I just didn't want to do all the work of literally migrating to a new system. Last week, I decided to actually sit down with uh, one of these Waylon compositors and really, you know, get it to my liking to where I could actually use it. Because in the past, I haven't had good experiences, but I'm going to say it was just user error and the fact that I was already comfortable with Qtile and I didn't really feel like configuring a whole new system and all that. So I just decided to do it, right, and just bit the bullet and did it. And it really wasn't that bad. So I wanted to talk to you about, you know, which Wayland compositor I actually picked. We're going to go through some of the applications that I use, the programs, uh, and just talk about it a little bit because I'll be honest, my experience is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But of course, before we do that, if you do end up liking this video, consider hitting that like button because it helps out the channel a lot more than you know. Also, we now got a channel membership, so you know you can do that if you want. Uh, I'm not going to press that a lot, so that'll be there, that little button. You can help support the channel that way if you want to. Um, yeah, that's just something new. All right, so which Waylon compositor, you know, because they don't call them window managers, which one did I pick? Now, for the longest time, I've been trying to get Qtile Wayland to work. I'd say it's like 98% there, at least for me. Um, the only thing that I couldn't get working on there is OBS and screen sharing. And honestly, that's fairly important, especially for when I make these videos. Uh, so that's the only... If I could get that working on Qtile Wayland, then I would be on Qtile. Now I know that there's like a handful of fairly popular Wayland compositors out there, but the two main ones for sure are Sway and Hyperlin. I've tried Sway in the past as well. I haven't tried it recently just because I'm not a huge fan of i3. I don't like the manual tiling, and I know that I think there's something that you can use to... I just don't like it, and I don't really like Sway, so I chose Hyperlin. So I just kind of wanted to go over the system. Um, right here you can see the desktop. Uh, it's fairly simple. It's very, very much like how I had my Qtile set up. I'm using Waybar. It's easy to just go and search up a config on GitHub, throw it in, hack on it, and make it yours. And that's what I did. I found basically uh, found this bar online and then just added to it like I added more of the workspaces up here uh, I changed the colors to it of course to the Nord theme I think it was like the cat poochine theme or something when I first when I copied it I changed the format of like the memory and added uh, the disk space and everything I just like to see how much disk space is there and that's pretty much it I mean I, the the last few modules don't even work like I said, it is somebody else's config, so a lot of times those widgets will be binded to like certain applications or something, and if you don't use those applications, then those modules aren't going to do anything, which honestly really doesn't matter to me. I kind of just gut the config out and put what I need, you know, uh, and add what I need, and I don't need the modules to really do anything. I'm kind of... Uh, I never had any modules or widgets they were called in Qtile. I never had any like 
that did anything other than showed me inter information. None of them did anything. Like when I clicked on them, I... Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of the fancy stuff to do with Hyperlin now is all the animations. And so, like, when you click on modules, shit pops up and, you know, all the fancy stuff. I don't do any of that. I dislike that very much, actually. I just want a nice-looking, simple, quick system, right? Uh, so I the animations and stuff, I don't do any of that. I disable all of that stuff. Um the fancy fading and shades I like the most that I do is make my terminal kitty a little bit transparent right like I don't do much of that stuff I obviously like customizing a little bit but I don't like the whole crazy animation stuff but yeah that's pretty much this is the desktop uh, some of the applications that I'm using uh, or re had to replace because that was one of the reasons that I didn't want or that I was dragging my feet about migrating to Waylon was uh, replacing all of my like uh, programs and stuff that I use like the XOR programs and having to move to Waylon programs really wasn't that big of a deal um, I was using Rofi at first I decided to just switch to Wofi both of them work Rofi or Wofi it doesn't really matter I decided actually just today to switch to Wofi I did have to switch like screenshot tools uh, before I was using the XFCE screenshot tool, which is actually a really nice one, uh, but that's of course just Xorg. But I actually had to switch to Grim. That's just kind of like the main one that people use, and it's not bad. So the official Hyperlin wiki is, if you have a question, you will be able to find the answer for that. It just might take you a minute. It's like everything is just thrown all piled together, right? Um, a little pro tip, check out this article as well as the Arch wiki, the Hyperlin section, um, to really like get your Hyperlin setup started, right? It'll, they'll help you with like the uh, setting up key bindings for your multimedia keys, making sure that you have a lock screen, uh, setting that lock screen up with a key binding, um, you know, important things that you need, right? And then instead of just digging through everything, trying to find what you're looking for, uh, just follow these few steps and you can have a, a, a working system. But yeah, I'll leave those linked down in the description, of course. That's pretty much kind of like what I wanted to talk about uh the applications not many applications did i have to change you know just kind of the screenshot tool um i still use the same terminal um i will say as i've been recording this video the only thing that i've noticed right now is that as i'm recording this at least my audio so i use audacity audacity keeps closing like every couple of minutes it just keeps shutting down it crashes uh, so that kind of sucks. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, I didn't know about that until now. Luckily, I was able to save the audio, but for that reason, I do think I'm going to wrap up the video. Uh, I'm going to do some research on this, try and see what the problem with that is. Um, but really, so that's my only problem, is Audacity closing. We will, uh, we will continue to see how this journey goes. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have used Hyperlin, if you like it. Community aside, we're not talking about the community or anything. That, that's not what we're talking about. We're purely talking about software, all right? Uh, so let me know if you've used it. I think once you cut out all the animations and like the fancy shit, I think it's a really decent window manager or Wayland compositor, my bad. Check the links and everything. We got some new stuff. We got, you know, a blog. We got a couple of um, support pages, things like that. Patreon, Kofi, uh, you know, all that stuff. It'll be down there. Um, check it out if you would like to. If you did like the video, of course, consider hitting that like button. If you made it this far, holy shit, I really appreciate it way more than you know. Uh, and consider subscribing because we have a bunch more content coming your way. Mm -hmm.